Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab and today we are going to be checking out the Thermal Pace Guard from Noctua for AMD Ryzen 7000 series CPU. So this uh, sample has uh, just come in from Noctua and we're going to be looking at it today, seeing what it does, how to install it and the actual effects of using it and whether it's worth buying. So very, very useful device for AMD Ryzen 7000 series CPU owners if you're concerned about all those notches on your CPU getting caked in thermal paste and unfortunately it has turned out to be an issue which we kind of thought it would be um, but that kind of takes nothing away from the fact that these processors are absolutely fantastic but first of all though a, a word from our sponsors our sponsor today is scdkey.com where right now you can get some great deals on software such as Windows 10, Windows 11 and Microsoft Office even better news is that I have a discount code to share with you guys that will get you even more money off this software. So Microsoft Windows 10 Pro, for example, which is fully upgradable for free to Windows 11 if you want to do that. All you have to do is click buy now, enter the code CRT25 into the promotion code box, click apply and the UK price, for example, will drop from £17 all the way down to just £12.76 and you'll see similar discounts elsewhere in other currencies as well. Once purchased, you'll want to head to your order page and copy the Windows 10 Pro key shown at the bottom of the page. When you're in Windows, you want to move your mouse over to the start button, right click, go to settings, then update and security, and then move up to activation and Finally, click on change your product key, copy and paste your brand new product key into the box, click next, then click activate, and your Windows 10 installation is now activated. Finally, you can do exactly the same thing with Office 2021 Professional by clicking the buy button using code CR25 again, click apply, and you'll get a hefty discount on Office as well. Thanks again to SCD Key for sponsoring this video, and you can see a whole bunch more links and discounts in the description below. So the issue is, and you can kind of see it here a little bit, is that these notches that go around the CPU tend to get caked in thermal paste and it just becomes a nightmare to actually clean your CPU. The thermal paste can get right the way down onto the CPU. There are some holes under the heat spreader that you can potentially see down at the sides. The thermal paste can potentially get under there. Now, it's not going to be a huge issue for your average user, but uh, if you're you know, maybe a little more liberal with your thermal paste applying um, or you tend to swap coolers, regularly or you swap the CPU between motherboards. I mean, certainly from my point of view, um, testing these things regularly, I can often uh, put, you know, a number of processors, um, sorry, a number of processor coolers onto a single processor. And the issue comes when you're applying the thermal paste, the thermal paste just kind of gets squeezed out the edges, which is perfectly normal. That's what it's designed to do. So it gets a really, really thin layer between the processor and your cooler. Um, but when it's kind of squidged out, it can actually fall down these notches. And that is when you start to have problems with the thermal paste collecting in these notches. And it becomes a real nightmare to actually get rid of. Also, when you're removing the processor cooler or cleaning it afterwards, it's also um, very prone to that thermal paste and um, other stuff kind of collecting in that area. Um, so Noctua's device is designed to solve that. So the notches actually come from the fact that AMD has planted some extra gubbins, um, some extra circuitry and components onto the edges of the CPU substrate, which you can see down here, uh, those little chips. And it's done that to keep the CPU socket size um, to a minimum. That means that we can use the same processor coolers that we did with socket AM4 it's meant that the CPU socket itself is kept smaller and is probably cheaper as a result. So that's what we're looking at here. But the downside, obviously, is that those notches are very prone to getting caked in thermal paste. So what we're going to be doing today is looking at the Noctua NATPG1, which is going to be available soon for around $8 um, in the US, about £7 here in the UK, or thereabouts, uh, pretty much the same in Euros. We're going to be looking at what it does how to install it and looking at the actual effects of using it versus not using it. So let's take a look. So in my press box, uh, my little press packet here, we have three 
of the actual guards. As you can see, they're made of just super thin, flexible plastic. That's all you need really for it to work. Um, ironically, I was looking at uh, creating one of these myself, but not to uh, beat me to it. It's just an idea that I had uh, a few months ago when I first saw the, the, the design. So these are, there's a trio pack in here, a pack of three, and uh, I believe the retail pack might come with more gubbins like cleaning wipes and those kind of things just to make your life a little bit easier because obviously you probably want to review, re, uh, like reuse one of these as well. So being able to clean it and reuse it is going to be super easy uh, if you have some cleaning wipes and also, also super useful because you don't really want to have to buy more. I believe they're going to retail for about seven or eight dollars, um, six or seven pounds here in the UK. So not too expensive. Um, obviously, they're pretty intricate and I wouldn't want to cut this out myself because you need to be super precise because otherwise it's not going to work. You're going to end up with gaps between this and the edge of the CPU and you might as well not bother. So as we'll see here, there's one particular way that you can put it around and I have to apologize for the fact that I'm touching this CPU anywhere. It's just what I had to do for the video, but it's it's a uh, it's a review sample product so I, you know I'm going to do what I want with it <laughs> my own cpu yeah sure I probably wouldn't be touching the uh, the back of the cpu that much but I'm just doing that for the purposes of this video so that's as you can see that's that's kind of how it sits it doesn't sit that low it will sit sit higher up the cpu once we have the socket retention um bracket uh the latch in between the, um, the guard and the processor, which we'll have a look at in a minute, but that's kind of how it sits. And you can see it sits very, very close to the actual heat spreader on the CPU and should prevent that thermal paste from getting down the bottom. So let's take a look at how you install it. So here we have the beautiful ASUS ROG Strix X70i Gaming Wi-Fi, the brand new flagship mini ITX motherboard for AMD's Socket AM5 platform. And uh, the first thing you wanna do is just open up the processor socket like so and uh, rem leave the cap in place. If you want to know how to uh, install your Socket AM5 processor, I've got a step-by-step -step guide in another video. Hopefully you can see the banner for that popping out above right now. And here what you want to do is just to lower your CPU in from a very low height and just move it across so you don't drop it down into it. It's very easy to do. I've done it before. Thankfully, not with any socket AM5 motherboards yet, but it's easy to do. Leave the cap in place, pop it down, secure the latch, remove the protective cap, and now you have your CPU in place. And all you need to do is drop the uh, guard in place. And as you can see, it's very, very shallow once it sits. It's basically sitting on top of the CPU socket retention mechanism. And uh, that's basically raised it up um, by a few millimeters off the base of the heat spreader. So it's now almost flush, not quite flush. Um, I would have liked to have seen it be a, a little more flush with the CPU, uh, the top of the heat spreader, but it's it's looking pretty, pretty flush there. Just literally maybe with like a millimeter or half a millimeter or something from the top of the heat spreader. So that's basically the whole thing installed. So what we'll do now is go ahead and install a cooler and we will see what happens when we squeeze out that thermal paste and how easy the thermal paste is to remove once it's trapped by the guard. Okay, so we are gonna be doing this together because uh, I've not had a look under the, on, the, on the underside of this cooler yet to see what's actually going on. So let's take a look and see what's happened. Okay, so it looks like the thermal guard has actually come away from the CPU socket. It's got caught up in that thermal paste and it's actually lifted away, which isn't necessarily a problem because it's gonna be a heck of a lot easier to clean the underside of the cooler than it is to deal with the notches. So what we wanna see is a processor that's looking relatively unscathed as far as thermal paste getting down into those edges. And it looks like we've got just that. Now, now the only problem is I would have liked to have seen the thermal guard kind of stay in place on the processor because then that would have meant that as you clean it, you could leave the guard in place and then just wipe over the top with your alcohol and a cloth and it would just come away. But as it is, if you wipe it with a cloth and some a thermal paste cleaner or rubbing alcohol, then you're probably gonna be rubbing that thermal paste down into those corners, which is kind of what you want to avoid. So 
So we kind of know that the thermal guard works in that, as you can see here, there isn't much thermal paste at all around those edges. So one thing I want to try though, is to get a spare guard over the top of the uh, processor so we can actually clean the processor without getting thermal paste down in amongst all those cutouts because um, it's all very well the, the guard kind of protecting it while you remove the cooler but it still needs to stay in place when you're, when you're cleaning it because otherwise you're just going to end up with the same problem um, although you know maybe a bit less of a problem but the problem is still going to be there so what we will do now is get one of the spare guards that came in the box so this is one potential good reason why you might want to use the uh, the spare guards and uh, what we will do is um, just fit that over the top and see what happens as far as uh, using a spare guard to then refit on the CPU to um, see what happens basically um, so here we are with the spare guard I'm just going to try and pop that over so we can hopefully clean the processor without getting loads of thermal paste everywhere and that seems to have gone over I think I had to press it down a little bit to get it past some thermal paste on one of the corners but that seems to have done the job so what I'm going to do now is grab a clean cloth and get some rubbing alcohol on it and then we can see what actually happens when we clean it so here's the cloth and I'm just going to gently rub as you would do normally what I'm hoping is that the thermal paste just kind of goes onto the guard rather than down the sides of the CPU and that seems like it's exactly what's happened so we've got some muck on the guard for sure but the processor is looking pretty much thermal paste free which is amazing that's like the first time I've seen a uh, an AMD processor come out unscathed from uh, from thermal paste. There's so something else um, I want to check is the uh, the actual processor cooler, and as we can see here, the guard has got stuck on it, which is uh, not too much of a problem. Uh, thankfully, the guard yeah is caked in thermal paste, but that's nothing that a couple of seconds with some uh, thermal paste cleaner and a cloth won't fix. So let's get rid of that. And then on the processor cooler, there's no thermal paste sort of outside of the contact plate, so that should be a relatively easy cleanup job as well okay so here we have the cpu with a similar amount of thermal paste on and we are going to replace the cooler and then remove it and see what situation we're left with without the thermal guard okay so we've just removed the cpu cooler and um yeah, it's, it's not a pretty sight that is going to be a nightmare to clear up there's already thermal paste that has started to dip down into those crevices which I think you can hopefully see there and that's using a similar amount of thermal paste as before but it's just in removing that processor cooler in particular with this one you need to kind of align it before you secure it at the start I think that's where the damage is being done and that's going to be the same with a lot of coolers out there any kind of rotation is going to cause all sorts of problems and if you see what I do now is get another clean wipe and we can see what happens when I try and clean this without that thermal guard. Um, it's just going to cause all kinds of hell down here in terms of cleaning it. Um, so that's what we've got off the top. So that's all done. And as you can see, we've already got some thermal paste that's stuck down the sides, which is going to take extra time to actually clear off so as far as I'm concerned um, even if you don't use the um, the guard to start with actually replacing it or putting one on before you clean the CPU even that has a benefit here so that seems to be where a lot of the issue is is when you actually clean it off you're actually rubbing it over those edges of the CPU um, so yeah I'm uh, I'm pretty impressed with the product it's very very simple seems to do the job and it has like the double effect of cleaning or keeping the thermal paste from getting down the sides of the cpu when you remove or when you install the cooler when it just squidges out the sides like it does normally but also you are preventing the thermal paste from getting down the side those into those crevices when you actually clean it which is exactly what just happens 
kind of a double-edged sword then with the Noctua NA TPG1. So it protects your processor from getting caked in thermal paste when you apply your cooler and uh, install it for the first time. And it also protects it against removing your cooler, squidging that thermal paste down into those notches and also when you clean the CPU as well. So I can definitely recommend all owners of Ryzen 7000 series CPUs to pick one of these things up. Uh, it costs about $8 in the US, £7, seven euros or thereabouts in the UK. And uh, I believe the retail kit will, will come with a few more gubbins as well, but definitely worth picking one of these up just to save uh, 10, 15 minutes of your life from uh, cleaning up your CPU uh, when you come to upgrade your cooler or sell the CPU when you upgrade it later on. So thanks to Noctua for providing the sample of its thermal paste guard and we will be back soon. See ya.